Welcome to the video. In this video we're going to follow on from the Tyranis sound setup video that we did earlier in the series. In that video we spent time actually talking about the sound files, how you downloaded them, how you got them onto the card, and then talked about how you use them in the menus. And we ended up using something called the Amber Sound Pack. Now one of the most common requests I've had from that video is how do you create your own sound files and particularly how do you then change the default system sounds, things like throttle warning, low battery etc, to be something that's bespoke and unique to you. In this video we're going to cover how you do that and it's pretty straightforward. One of the few things you're going to need is the Audacity sound pack. Now Audacity is something that we're going to use as we go through this and it's a great sound editor that you can find if you just google it using the normal methods and the cool thing is it's absolutely free. It's a very powerful pack. Now if I just show you before we get into this what the radio sounds like right now when we turn it on with the standard Amber sound pack we have a reference before we start changing anything. So this is my radio before we start. Turn it on. Welcome to Tyrannus. Throttle warning. So that's the throttle warning that I currently get from the radio. So what I'm going to have to do is to change the sound file that gives that throttle warning noise to something that I want. Now I've actually already recorded a little sound file here, it's called Painless 360 Throttle Warning, it's just me saying silly oi, uh, put your throttle down or something similar like that. But we've got to get that onto the card in the right place with the right name and in the right format. So we'll do that now. First thing we have to do is to connect our radio. So I'm going to hold the two bottom trim buttons in towards each other and power on the Tyrannus. And then I'm going to plug the USB cable in the back and then into the PC. Now there'll be a couple of drives that appear on the netbook and we don't want the one that's called Tyrannus, we want the called removable disk. So we'll just look at that one. Here is the directories that we looked at when we were looking at the sound files earlier on in the series and we're going to jump into sounds. And we're going to EN and here is the one we're interested in. These are all the other sounds that are set up that are bespoke and playable as tracks actually in the menus within the radio. But in the system folder, these are all of the standard default stuff that the radio is using. So I'll just very quickly talk about what all these are to give you an idea of where you need to go to set this up. So from 0000.wav, up to 0099.wav, those are the whole integer numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 99, whatever. Then the next lot is from 0100 to 0109, those are multipliers, things like 1000, uh, 100, etc. Then we have from 0110 to 0152.wav, those are the unit separators, things like minus, points, uh, watts, kilometers per hour, percent. And then we have tenths of a value, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, that are called 0160 to 0169. And then the last ones, before we get into the exciting stuff, is all the analog telemetry warning stuff. So a1 underscore org dot wav to a4 underscore red dot wav is all the telemetry gear. Now, if you go underneath all those A4 pieces, we jump back onto the netbook, then you get into these other files here. And these are the ones that actually do the specific audio alerts on the radio. So if we just jump back onto the slide, you can see here that we have things like bad eat prom, trim maximum, inactivity alarm, low battery, on all the others. Now, the one that we're interested in changing is the throttle warning. Now, the throttle warning is the fifth from the bottom, and it's called TH alert.wav. So if we just jump onto the netbook, there's thralert.wav. I'm just going to rename that. I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to call it underscore old. That means it won't get done the next time. And now I've got to turn my recording of my voice into a file that we can replace that thralert.wav with on the radio. So what we're going to do is jump into Audacity, we're going to open the file that we're interested in, 
There it is. And it is already mono. If it was a stereo file, we'd go into tracks, stereo track to mono, because it has to be mono. And the other thing that we have to have is make sure that the rate is either 32,000 or 16,000. We'll set it to 32,000. And then we need, we need to save the track. So we're going to File, go into Export Audio. It'll ask us what we want to save it as. Remember, we want to call it as THR Alert. Uh, keep it as WAV signed 16-bit PCM. We don't need to change anything else. We're going to click Save. Clear all of the values. We don't want that saving. That just makes the file bigger than it needs to be. And that takes longer for the radio to access everything then. And we'll click OK. Right, so now I have a THR alert that should work. So I'm going to copy that onto the radio. There it is. That was one I've used in the past and played with. So there's throttle alert, which is the brand new one that we've popped on there today. And there is the throttle alert old that was the original one. So now we've done all that, we'll close that down. I'll unplug the radio from the computer. I'll turn it back off and now if I turn it on here's what it sounds like welcome to Tyrannus hey you need to put your throttle down so that's the way that you change all of the settings on your radio if you want to change the system alerts and that's also using the audacity program how you can check any file that you want and put it onto the radio in a way that will play so if you have an mp3 of a particular track that you really like and you want to be able to download that and pop it onto the radio to have it played at specific events then what you need to do is find in that list which one it is you want to change record or get hold of the audio that you're interested in get audacity to change it into 32,000 hertz save it as a wave file pop it onto radio and it'll work Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.